Another common type of problem is calculating the percent increase or decrease. So for example, if there is an item that originally cost $25 as, and has been marked down to $10, by what percent is the item being discounted? So it'd be the new price minus the old price divided by the old price. So in this case, $10 is the new price. The old price is 25 and we're gonna divide again by the old price. So we have 10 minus 25 divided by 25. So 10 minus 25 gives us a negative 15 over 25. And you can change this into a decimal or a percent by doing the division. So 15 divided by 25. Or you can change it into a fraction out of 100 because percent means for every 100. So 25 times 4 gives us 100. And we do the same thing in the numerator and in the denominator. So multiply the um, numerator by 4 as well. 15 times 4 gives us 60. And because 15 was the negative, it's going to be a negative 60. So this is a negative 60% because 60 out of 100. So that means that it's being discounted by 60% or a 60% um, decrease. Okay, and so the thing that I want to point out is that when what sign you get for this percent tells you if it's a percent increase or a percent decrease. So a positive means that it's a percent increase. And a negative means that it's a percent decrease. And let's talk about why that is. Okay, now if the old price is um, smaller than the new price, right? So the new price is bigger. That means that, um, that the price went up. So the bigger number of minus smaller number is going to be positive. So that means it's going to be a percent increase or a markup. Okay. If the new price is smaller than the old price, that means that there was a, the price went down. So that would be a discount. And that's how you would get a negative percentage because the prices will never be negative by themselves. The only reason for a positive or a negative would be from the difference in the new price and the old price here.